Welcome to the Go Get a Agility podcast. This is episode 18. My name is Margaret, and with me is my daughter, Emma. Hi, everybody. Hi, Emma. I have a question. Do you have any agility superstitions? I do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I have some big superstitions. I do. I- so I my t- biggest one, you want to know my biggest one? This is the biggest one is I will not listen to my own music on the morning of a trial. So like if I'm in the car with you and you like put on music, that's fine. Right. But I will not put on headphones and like go into my own world. Why is that? Because I, okay. So I used to do it right when I was like in middle school and I got it into my head that every time I did that, we'd end queue every single run. We Maybe. had a few, Millie had a few like teeter tendencies to just like fly off the teeter right so we'd end queue in standard and then like jumpers you know I'd always just be like caution the win you know we're not getting a wq anyway so I just do like random stuff and then obviously we'd end queue that as well and I like associated it with like the music obviously like I don't well I kind of believe it I don't know um but yeah I won't listen to my own music like obviously you know how like people will listen to the music when they're walking the course yeah I won't do that I can't do it that is such I'm a so weird. Scared. So you're not superstitious. You're super duper stitious. I'm very stitious. I'm not, <laughs> as Michael Scott said, I am not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. <laughs> I'm not. I I don't. I don't know that I'm stitious at all. <laughs> such <laughs> well, a great my point. other one, my other big one is um, don't walk under the dog walk. If you're not like using, it, if you're not like messing with it, like if you're putting it up, right, that's fine. But if it's in the middle of a course and you walk underneath it to like get to another jump or something while you're just doing whatever, I won't do that either. I will, I'll go around it. It's so weird. I don't know why. I just, you know, I, I, I think that a lot of superstitious behaviors, like, you know, not walking under a ladder. Uh, right. I think that's where it comes from. Broken mirror. I think all of those superstitions are based purely on safety. Oh, right, probably. <laughs> yeah, okay, like a hey broken kid, don't mirror. Go near the broken glass. <laughs> yeah, broken yeah. mirror. You're gonna cut yourself. Uh, I mean, I've had a <laughs> broken mirror up on my uh, up in my bathroom now. I don't know, four years or something. Okay, yeah, I've had some bad stuff happen to me, but <laughs> that's oh, why. That's <laughs> why. But overall, I think that I've been doing pretty good. I think my <laughs> good stuff is outweighing my bad stuff. Yeah. Uh, the so, um. The reason that we're talking about this is because about an hour ago, mom sent me a picture of Eli at Molbax and he was wearing Millie and Dot's Team USA leash. Yeah. And I have a rule that unless the dog is a former member of Team USA or a current member of Team USA, they are not allowed to wear the leash. So like I will never put Jinx in the leash and Dottie wasn't allowed to wear the leash until she actually got on the team. It's so funny. If you watch Dottie's like old agility videos, she's not in the Team USA leash. That's ridiculous. I that, know. I know it's insane. Ridiculous. So why was he on the leash today? It wasn't because I think he's on Team USA, blah, blah, blah. No, I know. I know. No, I put, I used that leash because I couldn't find his regular leash. I know, but he's cursed now. And, and he's I not going to be able to get out of open. And That's I like take, the Team USA cutoff, right? You've got to get out of open. He can't do it. And I took him, I took his collar off because Jinx was wrestling with him. So I didn't want Jinx. <laughs> Jinx has a tendency to grab his little tag and hang on to it and like drag him around the room. I was like, oh my God. So I took his collar off. Both of them were naked. And then I put him in the car this morning. I don't know what I did with this pink leash. It's probably buried somewhere in the front of the, the car. The pink leash is dots too, just so you all know. Okay. She likes to steal my stuff. Eli does not have his own official leash yet. Poor boy. He needs that's, one. That's true. And he's using a collar. I think that was originally Millie's when she was a puppy. <laughs> Just, it's, it's our 15 puppy. year old collar yeah it's oh, our goodness. puppy collar it's just tiny uh, yeah. so yeah he doesn't have a leash he doesn't have an official collar because i'm waiting for him to get big and i'm not 100 percent sure on what colors i want to go with yet but i have anyway, colors in mind anyway and <laughs> ooh, anywho anyway. he didn't have a collar or a leash and the only choice was jinx's big leash collar yeah. combo or the Team USA one. Yeah, but he's cursed now. No, he's so cursed. I grabbed the Team USA one. Oh. And let me let me tell you something. When I put that on him, he was strutting. He Listen, was strutting. The red, white, and blue only looks good on tries. Okay, no, I don't care. Doesn't look as good on Merle's. I, I on him. stand by this. No, it looked great on him. He <laughs> had an absolutely brilliant morning. So now. Okay. 
So now I'm superstitious. Wait a minute. That he <laughs> needs to wear that he needs to wear the Team USA leash. Oh out. no. Everywhere. So oh dear. And that's called the spirit of Millie. She's not dead yet, but and that's it's her exactly spirit. that's exactly how I felt. I'm like, oh my gosh, he is he is uh, what what did I I texted you? What did I say? He is. Oh, I think you said something like he's becoming Millie or something no, like that. No, I didn't say that. No, I said uh, which he should be proud he's of. Channeling Millie, which is epic. Yeah, I said That's he's right. chan- he's channeling Millie's awesomeness. And, yeah, she is and, pretty epic. <laughs> and by golly, he, he did. He channeled her awesomeness today. Or maybe I'm just an awesome trainer and he's doing really awesome. <laughs> okay. Or okay. maybe he just came from awesome lines. Anyway. <laughs> If I'm gonna anyway. if I'm gonna be superstitious, he now needs to wear that leash and collar. No, 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 no. Or no, no. the next that year. leash has been to a lot of different countries. Yeah, but also you okay? Just don't put the fluffy one on. There's two Team USA leashes, and one of them's fluffy, and that one is specifically Dots. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, but it's not on purpose. It's only because I no, do. no. I just I, I'm worried he would, he's he's cursed now. He's Poor not boy. cursed. <laughs> he's cursed with awesomeness. That's all he's cursed. <laughs> he's cursed with greatness. Yes. Yes. All right. So what other superstitious behavior do you have? Um which, which by the way, I really didn't know that you were this superstitious. So no, it's not like it's like if I listen to music, say like before an agility trial, I'm not gonna like start crying, you know. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I've thrown the run. But um I have a tendency to like if I do get an NQ, I'm like, see, see, that's what happened. Well, maybe, um, another one. Maybe, is, maybe uh, you should blame the training. Maybe that's <laughs> maybe what you're just should, a bad trainer. <laughs> maybe that's yeah. what you should blame. Um, the other one is during or the lack, or the lack of support during the run. Perhaps <laughs> yeah. that's it. Yeah, you're I'm thinking boy. about my my music rather than the dog. The other one is that when I do a walkthrough, I always tell my dog, my invisible dog, to sit and stay at the beginning. Um, it doesn't really matter if I release him or not, but I always have to tell him sit, stay. Um, and then I leave and then I do my walkthrough. And I I mean, that one's just kind of, I don't you think it's superstition. Him, it's just like what I do to well, get yeah. at the beginning. No, I have, I have, I mark an X. I put an X or I put a, mm, yeah. I, I, I do like an X with my foot on where you I look for it when you go into the ring and you're like, where's my X? <laughs> Never. I really don't because no, oh, that's good. I, so this is what I do. I put an X where I want my dog and then I take coordinates off the walls. Oh so, so, you know, if I'm in a corner, then it's off of this pillar and this pillar. You Wait know, a minute. That's like really technical. No, that's what I do. <laughs> I didn't even, whenever <laughs> people tell me, you know, I'm at like the 20 yard or 20 meter. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. So See, you know, I don't even have... know. I don't even know the measurement. I'll, meters, yards, feet. I have no idea. I think, well, in the US it's feet, but in, yeah. So in our agility competition arenas, there's almost always numbers on the walls, you know, 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet. And so if I happen to be lined up with the 10 foot mark, I'll make a note to myself, 10 and this pillar, make sure it doesn't move though. Cause I have put it on chairs before and then somebody comes and takes the chair away. Mm, yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh wait, where's my coordinate? No, no, no. So it's yeah. always on either a picture, a wall, a, a pillar. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, but I put an X in the floor first. But, but I'm not superstitious about it. Right. That's- I thought of a new superstition of mine. I won't look at if course maps are released, which they've started doing. If course maps are released like the day before a trial. Okay. I, won't I, look think, at them. I think that that is the silliest superstitious behavior. But I think behavior. also because remember, remember I do- the Sasquatch Cup and I refuse to look at the course maps and you were like in bed at like two in the morning and you're like, Emma, look at these course maps. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't yes. look at them. Yeah, but um, that's not, that's not. That could have been nervous, so I didn't want to keep myself awake thinking about what I was doing. So you don't find comfort in looking at maps? No, because I did them at like EOJ, like big, big competitions. Well, how far? Mostly because Coach Susan was like, Emma, look at this. And I didn't want to be like, I'm not going to look at that, Coach Susan. So I did. But um, I generally won't look at course maps. Not really a superstition, more of like a, I don't want to worry myself about it. Yeah. So how far in front of a run can you look at a map day of is okay but like the night before i won't if i know so i you, have to sleep so you don't like, like this Sasquatch cup i was so nervous so you yeah. don't so you don't like the whole new covid where they used to where they release them at midnight oh yeah no that scares me because <laughs> i was so nervous for the Sasquatch cup and i was like no i'm gonna stay awake and like now cry. 
Now, when you it, were so. when you were a child, when I, you were a wee one, the baby, you used to draw on them, and you would draw where <laughs> Millie was, and you would draw your front crosses. You'd do like little circle, like bloop bloop circle thing, mm. uh, to show your front cross or your rear cross or. Yeah, you did mostly rear crosses, so you do a little. Yeah, yeah. And then I, yeah, you always drew Millie on the map. All See, right. yeah. And now I always sit Millie and, up, and you would always draw Millie's court. I'm sorry, Millie's path, and then you'd always draw your own path. You know, funny story about that. Once one of my friends sent a course map to this agility group chat that I'm in. And she was like, hey guys, what would you do for this? So I drew the dog's course and my like as a handwork course. And I was like, this is what I would do. And she like sent it back. She's like, why are there two lines? And I was like, well, one's your line, one's the dog's line. She's like, why would you do that? And I was like, I don't know. That's just how I do it. <laughs> well, and I like that because you have to think about the how the dog is going to jump. And so- I like to visually see the dog's path and it's not always circular. It's not always these perfect circles. You have to imagine and know what your dog's tendency to do is. Right. Um, you know, I, I usually do kind of try and draw the ideal, but I also, it helps me to visualize how close they're coming to another obstacle that I may have to pay attention to. That is actually really interesting what you brought up because I just thought when I do course maps, I always do the two lines, right? But I do know a lot of people will just do one line. I was assuming they were doing the dog's line. When you guys go get them agility listeners, uh, let us know when you do your course maps and if you draw on them, do you draw your line or do you draw the dog's line? If you're only doing one line, which one do you draw? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. I know some of my students use different color pens. So right. They, yeah. So that's they'll, cool. They'll do different color pens and then at a side change, they'll change colors. I like that. Yeah. I can't think of if they do their line or if they're doing the dog's line though. I don't know. Yeah. Well, when I, even if I just draw the dog's line, I always have my line in mind and where, where I'm going to do a side change. That is interesting. Yeah. All right, so I don't have a superstition, but I do have one thing that I do like to do. And that is to, and this is channeling. I like to channel people. <laughs> um, so I will wear uh, certain kinds of socks. Oh, yes. That's yeah. always fun. I yeah. like it when you do that. Yeah. So sometimes it's a sock that reminds me of you. Like I'll, I'll steal some of your Grateful Dead socks. Yeah. Or you yeah. have you had these hedgehog socks that I wore the other day. That's right. Um, I think you wore my uh, screen painting socks the other day yes, too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that Edvard Monk? I think so. Or yeah. Van Gogh. Who does the scream? I don't know, actually. I should know since I have yeah. the socks. I have Starry Night socks as well. well look I at have a bunch of paint. And uh, the Kiss socks. Oh, Starry Night is Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Yeah. But I'm naming yeah, Edvard all my Monk Kiss socks. Is, or not is, my Kiss. My right. goodness. My painting socks. I'm naming my painting socks now. <laughs> um anywho yeah so and then my mom I I like to wear my mom's socks yeah, and then I'll sometimes socks. so I have this um this is this is this is channeling when I'm having a a day where I'm like okay I need some energy so I have um, one of the things that I acquired when my parents passed away when, uh, when my dad passed away specifically is his uh, uh chair that he would sit on to put his socks on so he had this chair that lived it either in his bedroom or right next to his bathroom or the bathroom and he would sit on it and put his socks on and so that's now in my bathroom and when I need extra energy I sit down on that chair and I put on my mom's socks or your socks or my <laughs> own socks. So cool. Anyway, I mean, and some socks, like so I have socks that were given to me by my students. And so I'm like, yeah, okay. I need these socks today. I need, I need this energy. So I take it more as a, a channeling rather than a superstition. Uh, and sometimes I'll think about it throughout the day, but most of the time it's just that, you know, put it on and let it go until my shoes come off. And then I notice the socks again. So, yeah, I'm, I don't feel like I'm superstitious. Well, now that I think about it, you know what I do do also when I I just need a, a, a an energy boost is I do my 30 seconds of smiling. And oh, I, well, there you go. Yeah, I've mentioned this in prior podcasts where yeah. 
I, if I need to change my mood, I do 30 seconds of super hard smiling to the point where my cheeks hurt mm. and just take that positive energy that a smile gives you and kind of that fake it till you make it mentality. And maybe it is superstitious. Maybe it doesn't do anything, but I believe that it's a chemical change when you've got that smile endorphins kicking through your yeah. body for 30 seconds. I don't think either of us have physical um, superstitions as in like a good luck charm or something. Um, Cause I know some people have like a good luck leash, which I suppose used to be my team USA leash. Um, not so yeah. much in recent years, just cause oh, I have like more dogs. Right. So I just have more leashes. Um, but I never, like if Millie walked in without the team USA leash, I wouldn't be like, Oh no. Oh, that's but um, I do know some people have lucky leashes. Um, what else? Yeah. What I just like my leashes. Yeah, right. exactly. So when, when Tia passed away, I really hesitated burying her leash with her. Yeah. And so I sat there for a while. I'm like, what do you think, Tia? She's like, no. Hang on to it. <laughs> so she, so in my head, Tia let me hang on to her leash and yeah. I still use it today. But that's I, interesting I love, I because that. I have a plan to bury the Team USA gear with Millie when she oh. goes. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean obviously Dot made the team as well. So Dottie has her own stuff. But all of like Millie's harnesses, the leash that Eli used today, I'm like, no, that is Millie's and it gets to go with her. We're getting very depressing on this podcast. My goodness. Oh, I don't think um, it's depressing at all. I think that it is. I don't want to think about Millie. <laughs> well, okay. That's a, little, Millie. that's a little depressing. And I guess Tia passing away. That's oh, a little dear. Depressing. Oh, no. <laughs> but I like to, I mean, when I see her leash and everybody's, this is really, really is a personal decision. Mm. I really get a lot of joy holding on to her leash still. Yeah. I I mean, yeah. I, every time I see it, her colors are purple and blue. And every single, it was probably one of the first leashes that, that we acquired like that. Because she was mm. my first big agility dog. It's the first type I'd ever seen these types of leashes. I yeah, the slip-on ones. Them. Yeah, it's a martingale collar. Yeah, they're really nice. And so that was my very first leash that I felt like, oh, I've hit the big time. And right. right. And I still have it today. It's the leash is probably what close to 20 something years old. Oh, yeah. And she's passed away a number of years ago. And she yeah. passed away at the age of 15. You know, it's I think. Yeah. Gosh, it's been a while. You know, what's interesting is speaking of leash superstitions, I still have the leash that I made for Dot before she was even, I think, born. Um, when I really, really I was going through puppy fever and I really, really, really wanted a puppy. And I thought, I'm going to make a leash. So I made a leash. It was a horrible leash. I mean, it's okay. It looks fine. But I don't think it would be very practical for a dog that pulls because um, I'm not great at sewing. But I never thin. got rid of the leash, did I? Because yeah. it's just it's just like in my room, I think. Um, and so that's kind of, it was the symbol of Dot. It was what was to come. Right. Um, I don't think Dottie's ever used it. But um, yeah, I do that with a lot of leashes, though, because I did it again in um the netherlands when dotty i had dotty at this point but she was a baby she was a puppy and i bought a leash at a stand at the eoj site and i was like this is for my puppy oh, and it's right. yellow and thing blue. was I, it was a collar it was i remember like, i bought a leash as well okay well you got a collar as well and it was the worst collar ever oh it my was, gosh you're so mean no, me. no i'll tell you why it was the worst it was a great collar it was a leather <laughs> I remember it. It was, I remember. Oh, yes, I remember. Yes, I got a yeah. collar as well. Yes, I remember. Yeah. Your, so it was a leather on. collar and uh, you put it on her and it would come off. That's it, right. Yeah. It just unattach itself and come <laughs> off. I don't know what the heck was wrong with the way they made yeah. it. Yeah, that was. And so, yeah, that collar. Was, yeah. And it had the, the way that they did it is the, the buckle and the tags were on opposite sides of each other. And so one outweighed the other and oh, so, so i think just, that is why it would come undone is the buckle outweighed the the tags area mm -hmm. where, where the leash is so when you flipped it around with the leash on the underneath would come loose <laughs> oh no and, oh, it was terrible yeah, yeah i didn't oh. like that color at all i mean well i know that the leash that i bought was too small for because i mean dotty was tiny tiny oh, the tiny Mar the martingale part yeah and i thought oh this will be fine and then she <laughs> grew out of it i mean dotty's 11 inches tall 11 and a half inches and she's still too big for it she's got a lot of hair that's why 
Yeah. Um, it's hard to judge yeah. though. It's hard to judge those collar sizes when you don't have a dog with you. Yeah. I mean, it's still, it kind of fits. It'd be okay in a pinch, but yeah. All right. So what other superstitions? Well, the reason I bring it up is because I was actually um, perusing through my social medias and somebody said that uh, Formula One driver Daniel Ricciardo will will not get into his car with his helmet on. So he will always get into his car and then he puts on his helmet. And I was like, that's interesting. I was like, I wonder how like the media, you know, realizes that. And I was like, do agility people do this? And then I thought, yeah, I wonder if there's any agility people that are like, you know, why isn't Emma using this leash with Millie? Why isn't Emma, or, you know, not that people think about me, but um, yeah, I was like, I wonder if agility people do that. And yeah, then I'm I like, was, I do. I was wondering, I'm like, why is she yelling at me about putting a leash and collar? Yeah, on? I was like, I'm no, no, no. Eli is not allowed to wear that leash. Uh, oh, man. Well, I yeah. think that, I think with, with anything, I think with anything, I think that even if you have a superstition and I think don't let it paralyze you. Right, right. Right. So if you have a superstition, awesome, do it. Great. But if it things don't work out or you don't have whatever that superstitious item is, don't let it paralyze you. Just right. forget about it. It's out of sight, out of mind. Go do your run. Find something yeah. on your dog that you could be superstitious about. Right. Dottie's whisker. If Dottie's whisker, Dottie has like one giant whisker that um, I think is really cute because she's got black whiskers on one side and white whiskers on the other. And you, it, the white whiskers are really, really obvious. And there's one that's like half an inch longer than the rest. It's so funny. So if that ever falls off, I'm going to cry and be like, oh my gosh, her magic powers. But it, they're they, gone. I, I mean, do they shed whiskers? I don't know. I mean, Cats kind of do, because we find cat whiskers all the time. I find cat whiskers all over. Unless you're pulling them out of sparks. I, no. Face. I, no, <laughs> which... I don't pull out whiskers. Let the record show I don't pull out whiskers. <laughs> but do they shed? Because if they I do shed know. and she's coming up on five years old, then she must have regrown it and it regrows <laughs> the same. Because yeah. it is the weirdest whisker ever. That is yeah, it's so just strange for powers. It's really long, it's really thick, and it goes the wrong direction. <laughs> Me neither. It's so cute. He's so cute. It's true. It's yeah. True. And that's why, like, you know, I, I don't know who does this. I heard it's confirmation people. I don't know if this is actually true. But, like, confirmation people will trim their dog's whiskers just because it looks neater. Um, and so that's why, like, if I were to take Dottie to confirmation, if they were like, you have to trim your dog's whiskers, I'd say no. <laughs> because they trim I love it so much. I don't know. If I don't know. I've seen it on collies, um, and I saw it on a poodle one. Well, poodles, of that's... course, because poodles are shaved anyway on their face. Right. I don't know and if Cocker that's every dog. I'm shaved. not a confirmation person, but I have seen it on a collie once because um, I was petting the collie, and I was like, "Oh, hey, you don't have any whiskers." And then I yeah. saw that they were like neatly trimmed. Oh, I don't know if Shel- if they trim Shelty whiskers. So anyway, if they were ever to ask me, they'd be first they'd be like, your dog's really short. And then they'd ask me to trim her whiskers. And I would say, no, thank you. All right. Let me see what else you wrote. You wrote one other thing. You had four things that you wrote that you were superstitious about. Let me see what they are. So <laughs> Team USA gear can't be used on any dog, not on the team, past or present. Don't walk under the A-frame or that's don't walk under the A-frame or the dog walk. That's such if a you're goofy moving one. up and down. That's different. I mean, no. like if the, it's in the middle of the course and you're walking underneath it to like get to the end of the course or whatever. Always. Like obviously you're not running your dog. You're just like walking around the yard or something. No, I can't do it. No, absolutely. I do it all the time, especially if I <laughs> put it in the maybe, course. You know what? Maybe that's why you haven't gotten a puppy until now, huh? Maybe, maybe, it's, why. maybe it's because you've taken every dog for the last 15 years. <laughs> okay. Okay. Talk to me in another, uh, give me eight years. Mm-hmm. Not, eight years. Let's see what we, let's talk in eight years. See what we're doing. Yeah. What if Eli even just five like, years, I'm going to put if my, Eli, if Eli is not a good agility dog, I will not blame it on your skills. I'll be like, it's because you keep walking underneath agility equipment. Yeah, probably. That would be it because I do walk under. The, <laughs> yeah. I walk under the dog frame, the dog walk all the time. A frame oh, not no. as much because they have they have the chains. But yeah, it's chains. You can't do it. Yeah, walk, but no, all, I won't walk under the dog walk all the time. I'll even walk under it while a dog is running the course. Oh my god! Am I, am I hexing the dog on? The yes, course? yes. If you do it while your students are running, guys, if you see her 
Go on to the dog <laughs> while you're running. Stop it immediately before the curse hits you. You won't get out of open. <laughs> the open curse. Yeah, but now if they mess up in training, they're going to blame me. <laughs> I mean, they're probably blaming me anyway, but right, now right. They, you walked out of the dog walk. That's why my dog did X, Y, Z. Yeah. Like, but wait a second. Let's talk about your handling. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, and then, so your other one was don't listen to music before a child. That one is goofy. 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 But it's my personal music. Like, yeah, I would like to clarify. If, like, they, tri- they um, I know Jordan at Argus Why, though? Where did music. this one come from? It came from, so, one, let me clarify. If somebody else is listening to music and it's, like, on a speaker or if it's in the car or something, that's fine, right? It's all good. Um, or if um, they're playing music when somebody on cue. That's fine. That's all good. As long as it's not you putting on headphones or earbuds, putting on your own music. Don't say you. Say me. Say you. Me. I mean, you as a person. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm not cursing you This is your this. superstition. This is my, my problem. Um, as long as I'm not putting on my own headphones with my own music and like walking around or whatever, um, I can't do that. And it's, can't, I can't no, do it. No, but you haven't answered I my question. I can't do it when I wake up. I can't do it when I'm getting ready. I can't do it when I'm getting dressed. I can't do it in the car. So this isn't yeah. about agility. This is just about you being wackadoo. Yeah, well, I won't do it for anything else, though. Like, if it's, like, for a flight, a plane flight or something, it's whatever. I can do whatever I want. This is only for agility. Okay, tell me why. I don't know, because I associated it with the NQs, because I would do it a lot in middle school, right, um, when I first got my phone. Already? You said and that then... Um, I would listen to music and then we'd end cue. And okay. obviously it's not really connected to that. Right. I know that deep down inside, but just in case it is. Yeah, you need I to love- scrap that one. That's yeah. A, yeah, you need to disprove that superstitious. Yeah, but now it's kind of gone to the point where like people talk to me, so I don't want to have music going on. I'm oh, like, so you what? Don't okay. Yeah, yeah and then no, you talked about your last it. one too, your invisible dot. You have to tell her to sit and stay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we've covered them all then. Yeah, I'm trying to think now. Do I have any more? I probably do. I just don't realize. Um, like I have ones like with my cars as well. Um, do you have a super unless suspicious? it's unless it's on a hill, I won't leave it in gear. And, and that's we don't, we don't care about your car. Okay, well you guys should because they're really cute. Okay, wait, what did you say? If you're on a hill, so if I'm on a hill, I'll leave it in gear because that's like you know a thing. That's called the but law. If it's on a flat surface, I won't leave my car in gear. A because I always forget that it's in gear, and then I stall it when I start it. And then two, I'm just like, no, I don't want it. I I like it. You just sit like I always feel like I'm gonna like break the transmission, and I won't. Oh, no, you think I you're won't. gonna put the car in the front living room? That's true. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my car we're done talking leak. about the car. <laughs> we're done talking. Um, about all right, so what we're done. Dot yeah yeah okay so, okay but i do have a new one about the whisker if dotty's whisker ever falls out i'm gonna freak out that's so funny. yeah oh i, I that... did with millie's ears too remember when you trimmed millie's ears because millie has like really fluffy ears and i like freaked out i was like no i did i trimmed them once and you got but real... also they looked kind of bad so <laughs> they didn't look bad they just looked different <laughs> all right so what i've learned today because i've learned something new today I have yeah. a super duper stitious daughter, mm. which I did not know. It's not for anything else, though. It's oh, weird. Sure like it I, for tests, you know, I, I'm fine with going into tests, doing whatever. I can listen to music during tests or if they let us, you know, I don't care. Um, what else? Are Maybe it's because you decisions? care about agility. Maybe that's Maybe. why. I don't care about my education, but I do care <laughs> about agility. Yeah. All right. So I'm not superstitious. You are superstitious. I have <laughs> I have channeling habits. Right. And I've done this stuff for years. You do so like channeling? since middle school, that's been at least, you know, seven, eight, nine years of agility, right? That yeah. I've done this now. So you do channeling? Do you channel anybody? Um like I'll wear only socks sometimes, but that's like an everyday thing. Like I've only socks here with me at university and sometimes I'm wearing your sweater though. right now. Yeah, I am. Yeah, but that's because I love this sweater. I love it so much. Um, to channel, I. But do you think about think only so. when you put it on? Do you? Channel? Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I think you channel a lot of EOJ stuff because you're always wearing EOJ sweatshirts and like no, that's just dog agility sweatshirts. No, that's you're channeling really, my energy. I'm not channeling anything EOJ. Um, well, I mean, I loved EOJ. Don't get me wrong. Um, but no, that's just because I have such a bad wardrobe. 
Mm, and everything gets so dirty i can't be bothered to go out and buy anything nice (laughs) you're like i'll just wear this i'm dirty all the time yeah Yeah. the dirt at our arena is terrible for (laughs) it's not terrible it's great to run on it's great for the dogs to run on it's quite sticky though isn't it it's terrible for clothing and fingers i mean my fingernails are constantly black yeah so yeah, so my clothing choices is 100% based on my laziness for buying anything, my cheapness for buying anything, my wanting to support the EOJ kids. Exactly. And my uh, being dirty mm-hmm. all the time, mm-hmm. five, yeah. six days a week. Yeah. Oh, if I'm not... another superstition I just thought of is remember that video? of um every given sunday and it but it's yeah. gone it's over like the agility people it's called the inspirational um, video yeah the inspirational um you guys should look it up it's on vimeo it's called inspirational awesome. i forget the I'll people who it. called it i'll the link people it in the... who, who made it it's okay. f-o-r-m-e okay but I'll there's like a slash in the middle from... there somewhere i'll um, link be quiet i'll so link good. it I'm, I'm superstitious I'll... about it okay hold on i'll link it in the show notes tell us why okay. you're superstitious about it okay i'm not like superstitious about it but i do watch it like once every six months and when i watch it I, like watch it in its entirety and so, so you, can't, you channel it I, that's channeling i suppose yeah i do love that video so it's i want to be in it someday it's literally called inspirational and you find inspiration in it yeah yeah. So there's another one That's that I great. that I do. If you have not watched that video, you absolutely it's must so watch good. that video. It's it is so, so good. good. It gets with you volume, so hyped about agility. Yeah, with volume full up. Because, like, you know, people do that with all sports, right? With, like, football, with everything, right? They're always like, here, you know, look at this awesome video. And nobody had ever done it with agility before. And so I was True. all excited. Well, and, and not I'm, only that, but it has some of our favorite handlers in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's from, yeah. like, WAO 2014? I, I don't know. I don't know which one it was from, but yeah. it was a while ago. Yeah. It's so good. Anyway, we got to say goodbye. Our time yeah. is up. Yeah. And I enjoyed another podcast with you. Yeah, I did. And I well. learned a lot. I learned a lot about <laughs> you. Everybody else learned a lot about you. <laughs> they all have their own opinions of me now. I would like the record to show if you do any of these things. I don't think that you're jinxing yourself. This is a me problem. So if you're walking around listening to your music, that is all good. And I yeah, do don't not put your stitches it. on other people, Emma. Yeah, I'm not superstitious on other people. And if you are <laughs> I superstitious. I won't come up to you and be like, wow, you just jinxed your dog. But I do think that for Eli, because you took the EOJ stuff and you put it on him. He's going to be totally cursed fine. Him. He's going to be totally fine. He's not cursed. He has mm-hmm. he has anti-curse. He takes anti-curse vi- vitamins. So <laughs> every morning with his breakfast yeah, he's zonked out right now oh that's good so yeah i have no problem with eli wearing any of millie's stuff I we're think. gonna come back to this video in two he's, years he's and just, you're gonna you're gonna be so sad nope he absorbed all of her good stuff this afternoon <laughs> and she's a good girl me. yeah so i i appreciate you not getting too mad at me for wearing letting him wear his yeah millie's leash i loved it yeah, I love he's a you. good boy. I love you. I love you too. I'm gonna say goodbye. Love you too. Go get him, agility listeners. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe. And what should we say? Don't cut again? your dog's whiskers if they're long. That's it's, I have poodle friends. It's lucky. People. Emma, uh, okay, I poodle people, you're the exception. Emma, <laughs> don't tell them not to cut their dog's whiskers. <laughs> Safety first. I, I, I wanted uh, you. Uh, thank goodness you didn't get into. You have to braid your dog's tail or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been bad. I'll bet people do that with dyeing, dyeing their dog's tails. I, there's a lot of people. Oh, yeah, that's true. That I like wonder if horse thing. people do it. You know, when you, like, braid your horse's um, mane. I oh, I wonder if they have it. to do it, like, so many rows. Like, right. There has to be 25 rows of braids in the, right, right. In the mane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Call your cousin to find out. Yeah, I feel like Victoria. I need. I have a more. I have a really important question for you. Yeah, let's find out if she's superstitious. Yeah, yeah. maybe it runs in the family. Yeah, maybe there's something. Because um, like baseball. my grand superstitious, like my on my father's side, my grand superstitious. So Which maybe that's where it comes from. About. Let's what? not do family secrets. Oh, okay. Well, I remember once she told me not to walk under a ladder, and I never forgot that. Oh, well, that was like safety. five. Yeah, that's safety. That's, safety. that's good yeah. safety message yeah <laughs> she's just trying to protect me all right well yeah. okay i love you 
See Bye-bye. you on the course. Can we say see yes. you on the course? Should we say happy yeah. training? Yeah, mm-hmm. any of those. Uh, go get them. There we go. Go get them. Go get them. Woof. Oh, I have another superstition. You have to put your hair up. Well, that's just good agility advice. Yeah.